Hey Chris, how's it going? This is Josh. I'm just kind of going over a few things here, and um, you guys, you guys have a great website. Um, you guys have a lot of content, a lot of different pages that are full of content. You know, I went to this page here, commercial projects, um, a lot of content, which is good. You, you know, Google will rank you, and they'll find you for keywords on specific content if it's, you know, um, something that people are searching for, right? So this is pretty solid. Um, we've got your um, Website overview here, 155 referring domains, 971 backlinks. Um, you know, the referring domains is, is decent, you know, and your pay-per-click isn't bad. You're not throwing away money. St. Louis Public Relations is probably one of the keywords that I would always, that I would suggest trying to rank for organically as well. Because um, there's 150 search volume here. Think Tank St. Louis, I'm intrigued by that. I'd love to know. You know, it's like you guys are getting anything off of that. If you guys are a think tank, like, I, I'd love to be involved in something like that. That's pretty cool. So, how to get into public relations with, with no experience. Um, you guys are ranking, or I mean, you are, your cost per click, people are finding you via that ad. Um, PR firms, St. Louis, you know, these are lower percentage down here. Um, but let's, let's dive into, like, your organic stuff, because the paid ads are good. And they'll bring they'll bring people people to your website as long as they're set up right. Um, but what I like to do is get people ranking organically because a lot of times you know it's like there's a group subset of people who don't click on ads who only do the organic uh, listing. And so if we go through a competitor, CommonGroundPR.com, right? This is a, a competitor in St. Louis, right? If we do public relations. Um, St. Louis. This is the keyword. Public relations. It's got to be spelt wrong too because people don't put the period in. Um, so public relations firms, right? It doesn't look like your ad is firing on this. Like I don't see any ads on this, which is strange. Um, But, you know, you guys are organically ranking for a bunch of keywords. Oh, St. Louis Public Relations. St. Louis Public Relations. Right? And I don't see any ads firing on this one either, which is strange. But sometimes they fire, sometimes they don't. This is a competitor. I pulled them up here, commongroundpr.com. They've only got 150 people to their website. Um, let's find another competitor, right? Common Ground, they're ranked number four. You guys are on clutch.com, right? You guys are in clutch.com. This is a directory. And you're located up at the top here, which is good. You probably are getting, um, you know, some people coming through. Because there are a decent number of people that are coming through that directory. Um, but some people want to see, um, you know, your business on here. You know, it's like think tank public relations. Maybe that's why you guys are getting um, that. So Think Tank Public Relations plus Marketing Design. Think Tank's an easy keyword to rank for. So, like, that's a zero KD, and 70 people are looking for it. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't, you know, I would try to build out a page that was just focused on. Here's PR firms in St. Louis, 16 keyword difficulty, 40 search volume. Uh, these are just some keywords that I'm looking up here, but think tank St. Louis, spelled wrong. Zero KD, 70 people are looking for it. So think tank PRM.com, total traffic, they're getting 109 people. That's insane. So let's copy that link and see that competitor. This is sort of the stuff that I do. Like, I like to find out my competitors. Um, and it's also good. Yeah, they got 171 people coming to their website. They're ranking for 968 keywords. You have more referring domains and backlinks, which is good. Um, but they're still getting a lot of people to their website. Um, what are they ranking for? Think Tank St. Louis, of course, right? You could totally take that keyword if it's a zero KD. You need to build out content, maybe make a blog post, call it Think Tank St. Louis, and then make the URL think-tank-st-louis, right? And then build out some links for it. Boom, you could rank number one for that in no time. 
this is a zero KD, right? It's a big deal. Whenever there's a zero KD, you gotta you gotta jump on those. Um, St. Louis public relation firms, they're ranked number eight. They're not getting a lot for that, and they're on the front page. So they're on the front page for Think Tank St. Louis, and they're getting 23 people to their website for that keyword. Think Tank PR, um, they're getting 16 people for that. You probably can't use that word on your website because since it's a Think Tank PR, that's their name. You know, that's looking. Think Tank St. Louis, they don't copyright that. I don't think they have copyright ownership to that, but that's beside the point, right? We go through and we look at your page, and um, your paid ads are good, um, but your ranking, your keyword ranking is, you're ranking for things that aren't buyer intent, right? You've got organic traffic to your website, but that's not all people who are buyer intent. Run of the show, you've got 45 people coming to your website from this one keyword, right? Because you've got a, a page that's ranking for that. These are in order of the, they're ranked showing here on order of traffic. So the highest traffic and then it goes down. So you guys are not getting any of the, um, you've got chemistry PR here. Chemistry PR, you're ranked position number two for that, right? Um, 50 people search for that. That's a, that's a countrywide global keyword, though. So there might be another company out there that's named Chemistry PR as well that's ranking higher than you. Um, PR Agency St. Louis, right? Like there's some keywords here. I got a bunch of them pulled up. Most of them are low search volume for the KD. I did cost a lot to rank organically for that. So like some of these I wouldn't go for, but like I wouldn't bat my eye at throwing money at trying to rank for St. Louis Public Relations. Um, if you think that's buyer intent keyword, right? Because St. Louis Public Relations firms, that's 90, you know. Um, 24 means it's going to be tough to rank for as well. But either way, but getting on the first page of Google is a big deal. You know, think tank PRM. PR a PRSA, St. Louis, Vandiver Group, you know, PR firms in Missouri, LinkedIn. So, you know, I don't know. Being up in the map pack is a big deal, too. And the thing is that if you want to be in the map pack, you have to build out citations for that, and you have to build out your GMB, your Google My Business profile. Like, I can get you Google reviews if you need Google reviews. Reviews. I, I have a service that I pay for to be able to get Google reviews. Beat these guys, right? If you get 25, let's say 25 reviews, right? And um, you get, you know, you get a bunch of citations built out for this, right? I also have a, um, a service that I pay for to build out citations. You could have the citations, and then you could have the, um, you could have the um, the reviews and get in the map pack for this keyword here. But your map pack has to have that keyword into its content. Oh, and look at this. You have an ad that when people click on the map, it shows up. You have 14 reviews. That's good. That's good stuff. Sorry, I'm just learning some of the stuff that you've got, right? Why is it that you're not organically ranked, though? Part of that reason is, is because, like, you do have public relations on this piece here, but you might not have enough citations built out. Citations means that you're listed in a bunch of directories. Facebook is a directory. LinkedIn is a directory. Reddit is a directory. Instagram is a directory. Um, Twitter is a directory. I usually, my clients, like, I build out, like, a minimum, if they've got a location, if you have a physical location, right, I build out 200 to 300 citations for them to get them in the map pack. It's a big deal, right? Then you wouldn't have to pay an ad to be organically listed in this, part here, right? You should easily be able to beat out these no review, this no review person and this five review and this eight, right, think tank, right? It just depends on whether or not you can get that um, uh, citation built for it. So that's some, some ideas. If you want to do more of a deep dive, let me know and we'll go into it. Man. Thanks a lot.